This time you're going to learn how to use two library function called gets and puts when you want to deal with string input and output. So far we are going through the basics of string but remember we will have one standalone section where we are going to discuss a lot about string. Now again I want to remind you string are basically sequence of character. Here I'm going to show you one example. So let's say this is a character type variable where I want to store my name on Isul Islam. But the problem with, with this character variable, you know that if you define a variable as a character type, you can only store one character. But we have sequence of character, which means we have a string. In order to store this, you have to use array of character. So by this notation, you can store string and you can also define the number of character will be available in this name variable. So the maximum character that you can store inside this character type array is going to be 20. So we are still in the limit. There is nothing wrong. This is a character type array, which is called string. Later on, you will understand a lot about array and string. But for now, it's just basic things we are trying to understand array and string. Now this is a string that I want to print. In this case, what I can do, of course, I can use printf and I can just say something like this name. And then if you want to print any string, you have to use person as. Remember that this one here, the format specifier is person as for string. And now I'm going to print the variable, which is name here. That's all. Now let me run this program and let me show you what happened if I run this. So you can see it is printing my name on Isul Islam, which I have given here. So printf is still valid to print the string. There is nothing wrong with that. We can use one function called puts for printing the string. In this case, you don't have to like do this like, uh, like this way. You don't need any format specifier. All you have to say is the name of the string variable. So the one we are using here, the variable is name for storing the string value on Isul Islam. So we can just use it here, the variable name, and this will help us to print the string. So puts is a function that we use to display a string. All right, let me run this program and let's see what happened. It does print the name. There you go. Now let's see how to take user input string. So in this case, we're not going to define any value directly like this. We want to get some input from user and that input is going to be a string or sequence of characters. So in this case, I'm going to ask the user to give me username. So enter your name. This is something user will see. And of course, they know what to do. They will try to give us the name. We can take the name with the help of scanf just like before. There is nothing wrong. And again, we are going to use person s because we want to get the string as user input. And you know the syntax. Of course, you have to use this ampersand and then, then the name of the variable where you're going to store the string. That's all. So let's see what happened if we run this program. Is it going to work or not? Let's give it a try. So here, when I'm trying to give the value, remember we have one warning. Don't worry about the warning. We'll fix this. We'll come up with some more better solution. But first of all, let's try this one. I want to give a name here. So I'm trying to give the name Anisul. It's working. So you can see it is showing the output. There is nothing wrong so far. You are thinking everything is cool. But let me run again. And let me give the value here Anisul Islam. So I'm leaving one space here and then I'm giving the last name. Now this time let's try to see what happened. It is just printing the first name. So it is ignoring anything after the space that we have provided. So we have a problem here with this scanf. When we are dealing with a string, if we leave any space, then after the space it's going to ignore everything. So how can we solve this matter? In this case, we can use the other library function, which is called gets, and we can use the name of the variable inside the function. That's all. And this will solve the problem like the way scanf ignored anything after space. So let's see, is this the solution so far? We're going to run this one. We have some warning here that this is unsafe. Well, of course, this is unsafe. But at this moment, don't worry about the safety things. We are trying gets and post library function. Well, there is one more better alternative than this gets. It's not safe. And I will tell you the reason very soon. But for now, I'll give my full name here, Anisul Islam. And you can see it does not ignore anything after space. So of course, you know how to use this two library function called gets and puts 
gets function is responsible to read a line of text from the user while the puts function is responsible to use uh, to display a string in the terminal as an output so i hope you got the idea of how to use this gets and puts library function now let's try to understand about one more thing you saw that warning here that showed the gets is not a safe function or it's not something safe when you want to take user input now why this is not safe let me tell you because when you try to get some value from the user when you are using this gets function it does not limit the number of character to read so this one can potentially cause a buffer overflow so there is no limit we are not saying when we're going to end this user input so you, you are taking something from the terminal that's fine but there is no limit how many character you are going to take from the user so instead of this there is one better alternative we have which is something called fgets we can use fgets library function to you know sort out this safety issue let me show you how to do that. So this time we're going to use fgets library function and then the name of the variable where you want to store the value. And then you have to provide some sort of size here so to restrict the, that how many characters you are going to you know store here. In the previous one, when we have used gets, we didn't limit the user, but this time we're going to limit the number of character. So in this case, the limit is going to be size of this variable. So I can use one function called size of here, and then I can use the variable name. So this will make sure to limit the number of character that user can provide. And then the last parameter is going to be standard input. This is something you have to use here when you are taking the user input input. So there are three things you need to pass inside this fgets library function. The first one is the name of the variable. Second one is the size of the variable. So you are making sure you are limiting the number of characters that user can give. And then third things, the third parameter you are passing is called standard input. That's all. Basically, you are taking or reading a line of text safely here. That's all. And now let me run this time and let's see what happened. Do we uh, have the same warning that we did last time? So this time we don't have any warning. It's completely fine. So I'm going to provide the value here, the name on Isul Islam, and you can see it is printing my name completely well. There is nothing wrong with the fget and there is nothing wrong with the puts. You can use printf, but remember when you are using scanf, there is a limitation we have. So scanf ignore anything after space. Then we try to use gets, which was not a better solution. In the end, we have used this fgets library function. So again, in the end, I want to give a summary here. You can use scanf for the string, but in this case, remember to use percent the format specifier. You can also use gets here to take user input. The same thing we can do for the output. We can use printf function to show the output, but in this case, we have to use person s for printing the string, and then we can use puts library function to print the string. But one thing we realize gets is not safe when we are taking the input because it does not limit the number of character, and that's why finally we have used fgets library function here. So that's all for now.